My name is Liam Harris and I attended All Saints Anglican School on the Gold Coast. My name is Ruby Turner and I went to St Aidan's Anglican Girls School. I'm Kelly Park and I went to Somerset College on the Gold Coast. My name is Patrick Cummins and I attended St Joseph's College, Rugby Terrace. My name is Sophie Thomson and in Grade 12 I went to Varsity College. My name is Rachel Howenshield and I attended Kemmler State High School. I'm Lucinda Colbert and I went to Forest Lake State High School. My name is Rupert Dwyer and I've come from St Peter's Lutheran College at Indrapilly. My name is Stuart Moss and I went to Brisbane Grammar School. My secret to balancing study with other activities is to set out the activities you want to do and then plan your schedule so you can accomplish everything effectively. My secret to balancing study with other activities is to treat your extracurricular commitments as your breaks so you can have healthy habits when you're studying. Choose the activities that you really enjoy, then your results will be a natural consequence. Stay organised and to communicate well with my teachers and coaches. Be selective and then plan your time effectively to fit everything in. Time management. If you're good at that, you'll definitely have room to fit everything in. If you can't take it on, don't take it on. In balancing study with other activities, I found they facilitated each other. For example, with my athletics, I found that I was able to use this as a method of relaxation. Time management and good preparation, not procrastinating, making sure that I have time to still fit in everything that I want to do. My plans for 2018 are to move down to Canberra and begin studying a double degree in Bachelor of Mathematical Sciences and Bachelor of Science at ANU. For 2018 I'm taking a gap year and I'm going to be working in aged care as well as hospitality. I commence a Bachelor of Science majoring in Engineering at the University of Melbourne. I'm studying a Doctor of Medicine at UQ. I'll be studying a Bachelor of Biomedical Science at the University of Queensland. Getting straight into a dual degree of Engineering and Biotechnology at UQ. I am going to be studying a Bachelor of Mathematics at the University of Queensland. I plan to commence a Bachelor of Medical Science at Griffith University. I'm commencing a Bachelor of Law Commerce Honours at the University of Queensland. I'm most excited for the whole life and learning more all about Canberra. I'm just really excited to have time to visit my family that I haven't seen in a number of years. I'm excited about moving to Melbourne and also pursuing my passions for maths and physics in tertiary education. Looking forward to meeting like-minded peers who are studying the same course as me. I'm really looking forward to just getting into university life. And I'm looking forward to meeting new people and getting to study something that I'm really interested in. I've always known what I wanted to do after a year 12, or for a while now at least, um, being out at the Royal Flying Doctors Service at Brisbane Airport. I've been influenced a lot by the doctors and nurses that work out there. I attended an international physics competition in Singapore, and then during this competition I decided that I really wanted to pursue maths and physics in tertiary education. Even in the last days of year 12, I was still running around seeking advice, trying to figure it out, but I'm very interested in med, so I'm looking forward to taking up medicine at University of Melbourne. I definitely didn't know what I wanted to do at the end of year 12, but after talking to a lot of med students and current doctors, I realised that med would be the right choice for me. But throughout year 12, I didn't really have a clue, but I just took what subjects I liked studying at school and decided to continue with them. Through talking to my friends and friends of friends, I found that this course, this medicine course at Griffith, would be new and interesting. I didn't always know what I wanted to do, but in senior, I decided that once my grades in humanities subjects started getting better, I liked English, and with influence from my family, I decided that law commerce was something that I'd be, really be interested in studying after year 12. I've always had a passion for maths, so I decided that I wanted to pursue this at university. I definitely didn't know what I wanted to do in grade 12, um, even up until the first off round, which from then I changed the next week to engineering and biotechnology and I'm now going to complete that degree at UQ. My career goals would be to find something to specialise in as a doctor that I really enjoy and do that in the long run. To work for a large company, perhaps Apple or Google in America, and I would really like to use my skills and passions in the areas of maths and physics to help change the world. I have a passion for maths and science and I'm hoping to pursue those fields in aviation or maybe meteorology. My career goal is to combine a specialty in oncology uh, with some research so that I can be interacting with patients whilst developing new treatments. To work in a maths related field. It's extremely diverse which is very exciting. My career goals are to become a doctor and work in the emergency department of a hospital. My main career goal would be to end up somewhere within the medical profession obviously wherein I have an interesting job um, that provides new challenges each and every day. Work overseas, either as a lawyer or a financier, and if I got into law, probably a humanitarian law, because I'm really interested in immigration law and human rights. 
My career goals are to change the world. There are lots of things I feel I can change about this world and if I can fix even one issue, I'd be happy with that. My biggest source of inspiration is my senior physics teacher, Mrs Lynch. She inspired me to try hard in my senior studies and also inspired me to want to become a successful woman. Uh, my parents inspire me uh, and their sacrifice to help me get the opportunities that I've been lucky enough to have. My parents and my brother, they've always been incredibly supportive of me. There are lots of them. My friends, my family, my sister. I found inspiration a lot from my teachers at school. They really provided a lot of support. I'm inspired by my parents who have always motivated me and supported me throughout my schooling. My main inspiration for my entire life has been my grandfather. He was always very active in the community and he just was always the type of person I've wanted to be. The person who inspires me most is my grandfather, namely his determination and work, work ethic that I've seen throughout his life. He's 79 and he still works regularly. Innovators such as Elon Musk, Bill Gates, people who solve world problems and who really help society. My teachers at my school and also the support of all of my peers. I've always been self-motivated and I enjoy reaching my goals and knowing that I put a lot of effort in. I always put my best foot forward and make the most of the opportunities uh, that I'm given. What motivates me is much the same as my career goals. So even though I'm only one person, I want to change the world for the, for the better. I'm motivated by my desire to achieve the best results that I possibly can. The support from my family, um, particularly my grandfather, he always thought that I could be amazing and I wanted to live up to the expectations people had of me. My motivation would definitely be my friends and family who constantly support me through the ups and downs. I'm extremely competitive and love the experience of competition but also I'm highly internally motivated and want to achieve the best that I can in every situation. My classmates and my teachers who really pushed me and drove me to succeed and of course my parents again who were very influential in my good traits and good character. The best piece of advice I received about school is to take advantage of all the support you have available to you, be it teachers or your peers. The best piece of advice I received about school was to take any disappointments in your stride and that the next thing that you have to do will be completely separate. To always keep things in perspective and although academics in year 12 seem really important, it's not the most important thing in the world. The best piece of advice I've received about school is to be constantly revising the coursework uh, just so that remains prominent in your brain and really focused. If you want to succeed, then you must go above and beyond. The best piece of advice that I've received about school is to always pursue subjects that you're interested in because it will be more enjoyable and it will work out well in the end. The best piece of advice that I've received about school is that you have to be able to put certain things aside if you need to focus on, say, a night of studying, whether that be a bad test mark or something in your personal life, you have to be able to let that go. The best piece of advice I received about school was to make sure to leave with no regrets, to make sure you get involved in everything, to do what you want to do, to be happy doing what you do and to do as best as you can. The best piece of advice about school was from my mum in primary school and she told me to take every opportunity because you never know when you'd need it. In 10 years I see myself working for a large company, hopefully Google or Apple in America and being able to change the world through my passion for maths and physics. I'm not really sure where I see myself 10 years from now, but that's what I find most exciting about my future career. In 10 years time, I hope to be traveling the world and pursuing something that I love and passionate about. I hope to be specializing in a pathway of medicine that I really enjoy. Hopefully with a job, probably working overseas. I hope to be at the forefront of technology. I hope that I've been inspired to pursue an interesting and fulfilling career. In 10 years from now, I'd hope to be finishing my specialization and getting into the hospital and um, getting hands on. So I hope to be out of university, in the real world, making a difference in people's lives. I was quite surprised when I found out I won a QCE award. However, I was also quite pleased that my hard work throughout Year 12 was being recognised by this accolade. When I found out that I won an Achievement Award, I was just so surprised and so stoked but I was incredibly thankful for it. Um, when I found out that I received a QC award, I was really surprised and I'm so grateful to be given this opportunity. I was ecstatic when I found out I'd won a QC award. Uh, I was really surprised. I was very surprised. 
um, but I'm so honoured. When I found out I'd won an award, I was extremely excited. It was amazing to be recognised for all my hard work in Year 12. I was shocked and surprised. I didn't know these awards existed, let alone that I would have been able to achieve high enough to get one to the point where I didn't actually apply for any university scholarships. When I won the award, I was very shocked. My mum messaged me, I was overseas at the time. Definitely not what I thought I'd be hearing that day. I was very excited when I found out I'd won a QC Achievement Award. I told my parents and it just felt great to be recognised for all the hard work that I'd put in during my senior years.